Perhaps it's been a long week of work, but the weekend is finally here. It's time to wind down with family and friends, and for some, that often means enjoying a drink. Unfortunately, many are accustomed to driving home afterwards. It's a bad thing, but it's, it happens, sad but true. Joe Amsden works at Hoxton Tavern and Grill. He says they want their customers to have a great time, but they also watch everyone very closely. Uh, that's part of the training with being a bartender too is um, you have to know uh, when to cut people off and be a responsible server. He says most people understand and they usually don't have any trouble when it comes to keeping everyone safe. When you do get people that are drinking that heavily they're running with a group of people so they've usually got a friend or two that are yeah you did the right thing you know by cutting them off. So From the highway patrol to county and city officers no law enforcement will tolerate drinking and driving. Uh, when you have to talk to families of victims of uh, crashes that involve impaired drivers where you have uh, either fatalities or lifelong serious injuries. That's what drives us to be uh, pretty aggressive with our impaired driving uh, enforcement. And to the person who thinks they can have just a few and still be okay to drive? You're taking a big chance because although you may feel that you're not impaired, um, it doesn't take much alcohol in your system uh, to cause you to, uh, to have slow reactions uh, so or to uh, uh, just to make minor mistakes that can lead into major uh, issues. It's not worth risking it. You get a little card from your bartender if they think that you're a little too tipsy to drive and they'll come and pick you up for free and take you home. So it's a very good thing that they've got going here in Jeff City. Uh, there's just really no excuse for driving impaired. In Jefferson City, Elizabeth Hoffman, KRCG 13.